Hi everyone, my name is Barbara, I'm the owner of Founder Spanish Paquitos, and today I want to show you some more fun activities for back to school or your first week of school, some uh, cool activities that you can do. I think they're, they're super fun just to get to know your students and um, do a little bit more uh, things that, that are uh, fun to do in the classroom. So one of the things I have here is, and I have this in a shoe protector, but you can have a pocket um, that it's that's transparent that you can write those in and then dry erase and you can have front and back there and we're going to use this here in one second so another thing you have on there and again this is all absolutely free so if you want to download those you can or if you're a subscriber you can get that via email so one of the things you have is one of these bingos and what I did here is include this little uh, box here a table that has the different labels for each of the school supplies there so that you can have an idea of what they are and then you can just make a copy or make multiple copies maybe a different color paper and then you can have fun with that another way you can do this is just make the labels and then just go through some of these as well so one of the things i have here is for instance there are some emotions emojis there so that you can practice how you feel about that first day what what is happening or the day before back to school how do you feel about that too and what were some of the things that went through happening those days another cool activity here is the how do you feel como te sientes and then there's a couple of things that you can do here and i'll show you here in in a minute and one of those is um, you can cut this out and just have the little buzz and then have these as little stickers that you can put on here how you feel that first day of school or back to school um, or you can talk about it and again you can use a dry eraser like in a little pocket here or a transparent sheet and then just circle with how you feel around that uh, around that time that first week or back to school you can do that too or another fun thing is what I have here is I cut those out and I have a few examples there so I have my clip here, and you can use any type of clip. So what I have is just, I, I don't know if you can see it, but I have a double-sided tape there, and it's a poster type of tape, so it's a little bit sturdier, has a little bit more of a, uh, a the tape that you can practice with, and then practice what those are. What are those feelings when you maybe go in the bus, maybe you take a car, when you go walk, or maybe you take your bike? Do you feel uh, sad? Do you feel happy? What are some of those emotions that you feel on that first day or that back to school? And again, you don't have to um, feel that you have to do it during that first day. You can also say, well, how did you feel about that week? Let's talk about it. And I think it's probably a good option to, to start talking about what's going on for that first week. It could be so many things happening that first day there's just so many things that could be occurring to, as far as feelings as far as you know change of classroom change of teachers there are just so many things going on that first week so it's always a good thing to open up the conversation about what is going on that week so that's just a fun thing to do there if you wanted to another fun thing is in it's called a cutie catcher and it's called a cutie catcher because um, there's different things that it is used for and one of the things here is this right here and then what do you do is you once and I'll show you how to make this in one second and what do you do is you can roll your die if you have a number cube or a die you can roll it and let's just do something small not that small <laughs> maybe three and then you can just count to three one two three or uno, dos, tres, and then pick a color. You can say, maybe I pick blue, and then maybe I can say, if I feel surprised or sorprendido that day, how would I feel? What would be something that I could do when I am surprised? And then you can point to what that is in your, um, in your, in your sheet here, what that is as far as your emotion and as far as this part of the game of course and you can do it several different ways of course you can have uh, number cards if you wanted to and so many other different options too you can put the stickers on there if you have stickers you can put stickers on there but this is such a simple way to do this and here we're going to start with 
a square piece of paper and I recommend it to be 23 by 23. You can make it any size you want to. I think that's the best size to, to insert because once you open it, you want to insert those fingers and move that around as best you can. Okay, so one other thing is to fold alongside here and you want to make a good crease and then fold again to make another crease there. Once you do that, you're going to bring those corners to the center and then you're going to go through all the way around and I have this so that I can have a nice crease there that's where I already have it folded and have it another way there and it looks like a little pocket there if you see it looks like a little pocket and then you're gonna keep on folding in once you have all this folded in you're going to flip this over and you're gonna flip those corners back like this okay and that is going to make the center or the inside of the cutie catcher. So what does that mean is that you have your little inserts here on the inside and then on the outside. That's why I said it's a good practice to create those creases so that you are able to move this around. There we go. So that your fingers can fit in there really, really well so you can move those around, okay? So that's one thing to do. You can put this in any regular paper. I recommend something that is flexible like printer paper or any other type of paper, even white regular paper, notebook paper. Uh, construction paper, you're going to have to make a lot of creases to make it nice and flexible. So it will show up something like this. So I hope that you give these activities a try. I think this is a good fun activity again. For the first back to school or even those first few weeks of back to school to start talking about feelings and emotions and how we're feeling with our first day so thank you so much for joining me today i hope you enjoyed these activities you give them a try if you have any questions or comments i'd love to hear from you and thank you so much for joining me for another video Bye bye